humble. So please be sure that you keep those, those two things separate. And again, uh, support uh, the vocal ensemble to the best of your ability. They, these gentlemen come here on uh, using their own funds. Uh, so it's quite, uh, quite an expense. And anything we can do to help defray that, that expense uh, is greatly appreciated. Uh, and perhaps they'll come and join us next year and sing for us again. Uh, also like you to take note of some things in your bulletin, your blue note. Uh, please fill it out so that we know that you're here. And if you have a prayer request, uh, also put uh, that on the back of it. And also please note if your prayer request is private for just the pastor and the deacons or if it's okay to share it publicly. We have uh, things going on in the course of the next few weeks. Uh, you'll notice that there are PASTI order forms in your bulletin. So start placing your orders for PASTIs. And please make note of all the other announcements within your bulletin. And at this time, uh, I'd invite any minute people up if we have any this morning. Good morning. I just want you to all take note in uh, two weeks. You'll see in your bulletin, September 7th, during the service, there will be a dedication for our daughter, Naomi. And I hope you can all join us for a luncheon afterwards. Um, if you can, please contact me. Let me know how many will be joining us for that special event. Thank you. And if we have no other minute people, I would now invite everyone to rise and greet your neighbor with a handshake, a hug, or any other means you wish to pass the peace of Christ this morning. Please join me in prayer. Loving God, be with us today as we worship you, as we open our hearts to your love. Let it bless us. Let it give us hope. May your spirit enter our ears and open our hearts. We pray that its radiance will illuminate our own spirits and lift them up to a new joy. Renew our passion for the way of Christ. And let this day, as we come together, be a brand new beginning for each of us. Awaken the excitement that is brought on when we realize how awesome our God is. Thank you for your life. Thank you for sending your son. Help us to remember it the rest of this week and as we live onward in our lives. In your name, amen. Bring.
and the Hubert Velton Vocal Ensemble. Father Krishina, the stage, the altar is yours. So good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for inviting us once again. We have been here two years ago, and it was really a lovely memory for all of us who were with you. Um, maybe some of you remember our choir. They took some pictures, and now they can compare, and they see some faces have changed. Not the whole choir has changed, but the last time, a couple of our guys couldn't come with us, they didn't get vacation, so this time they are with us. And we have new faces also here, and we have new voices, and we have new songs for you. Um, the first time we will present about, well, I, I don't count, you will hear um, maybe four or five of so-called classical songs in German and also in Latin, and then we have a break, and well, uh, some of you may have a rest and the others may listen to my sermon, whatever you want. <laughs> and then we are going on with a couple of Gospels and Spirituals, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
should have said this was St. Mary's lullaby.
The Lord is with us in his presence, in his birth. It is given today from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some, of, some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in our Roman Catholic Church, we have a walk through the gospel within three years. So this is the part of the gospel we had today. I didn't choose it especially for you. <laughs> it was given to us all, and I wanted to share it. Well, this is definitely... Uh, a rock you can fall when you're Roman Catholic and hear about St. Peter and he's the one who gets the keys. Because this is most of typical was now the Pope is in our church. But definitely Jesus said this to St. Peter, but who is St. Peter? It is not the Pope alone. All of us is in this role to answer the question, who do you think I am? And especially, you realize this when you go to Rome. In the big St. Peter's Cathedral, uh, on the top, this is written. You are Peter, and on this rock. It is written in Latin, and that means tu es Petrus. And especially if you are a native German speaker, you may misunderstand these words. Because tu es Petrus in Latin, would mean in German, do it, Peter. <laughs> do it. And think that's the key of understanding this part of the gospel. It's not that you're proud, oh, okay, I'm St. Peter. Oh, well, I'm very proud, I'm a Christian. I'm the rock, I'm sitting here, everybody can crash against me because I'm the rock. No, it is mean you have to do what is meant to be a Christian. This is the key. So every one of us is in this role, St. Peter. I said the key, because you heard it's about the keys. In another gospel in St. John, Jesus said about himself, I am the door. He is the door that opened between heaven and earth. This is what the Lord gave us with his son, Jesus Christ. He opened the door. There is no border. It is not enclosed by the Lord. But he gave us a huge responsibility by giving us the keys to that door. It is us that close the door or open the door. It is us that say, yeah, you're, I, I don't know you. I don't care for you. It is, I've got, I found it. I needn't share the gospel with you. We are the open of the door. The Lord gave us the door, but he gave us the keys to open it, to share his loving, his light, and all what it is. It is like we've got not only the keys, but maybe he gave us this, this special key to not only that door, but to the keys to the heart of the people. So we can open it, or we can open our own hearts, so that the light and the presence and the mercy of God can reach them. And 
The second is, you may open the door, but you cannot press anybody to walk through. You can only show them. But if we don't show them, there would be no chance for them to go through. So this is what we all have to do. In that way, the Pope is no less or more than any of us here. And I need to say, our Pope at the moment, Saint, uh, no, not Saint, he's not Saint, yeah. Uh, our Pope at the moment, Francis, is really one I could be proud of because he's opening a lot of doors that have been closed and he's welcoming all the people, all the Christians, said, well, we are going that way. It's, it's, like, I say, it's like a huge highway. We have all the same direction and use different lanes. That's what it is. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you for inviting me. I hope I got you a key for this morning and a key more you can think about during this week. Thank you once again. And now we would like to sing summer songs for you. Yeah. Yeah.
these wonderful musicians uh, are, are here and visiting uh, at their own expense, so please be as generous as you possibly can. truly worship God today, and I hope you will all join me in once again um, thanking them for helping us to worship God. We know you do it all for him, and uh, may we be blessed. Go in his grace. Be filled with his peace. Amen.
uns hat auch mein Licht, meine Sorg. Mein Leben schließt sich um deines Thank <laughs> you.